Hello everyone, Pally Tov here. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. In today's video, we are going to be playing some Zagara. I've never tried this build before. Someone used a similar build against me when I was doing my Team League placement matches, but I've never actually tried it. I'm going to do a variation of what they did. I'm not telling you what it is purposely, although I'm sure the title of this video already gave it away. Uh, but I'm going to try to do something a little different with everyone's favorite space bug, Zagara. The swarm indoors. Why'd you call her space bug, Pally? She looks kind of human there. It's because she looks like this. That's why. That's why she's a space bug. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on probably my least favorite map still, uh, the Dragonshire. It always figures that when I try to do a split pushing video, which this isn't the first time, I guess I just kind of spoiled it. <laughs> but it always figures when I try to do a split pushing video, there's always a fucking goddamn Zuller Sylvanas on the enemy team. And this time we have both of them. Both of those characters obviously very adept at pushing lanes and could counter me quite easily. The friendly team, Vala, Zagara, Medivh, Illidan, and Artanis. The enemy team, Jaina, Stitches, Sylvanas, Zul, and Tracer. Uh, we are going to go for Roachlings take less damage at level 1. We're going to start to tentatively spread creep. Actually, we should be totally fine. Let's just spawn in some roaches and start to deal some damage to the enemy team structure, shall we? The Hydralisk on Jaina should deal some damage to her unless that blizzard kills it, which I don't believe it did. And we'll just go ahead and put creep around us and uh, make ourselves relatively safe here. Hopefully Jaina's not in this bush. She's not. More roaches, please. Oh, this is awkward, Jaina! This is awkward! I'm sorry! Oh, shit. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna put that on her and then we're gonna go this way. Hey, Illidan! <laughs> Hey, I was just doing some really dumb stuff. I mean, clearly, as you can see, what I was really trying to do there was to get our Illidan kills really early in the game so he could scale into the late game. Um, because as we all know, uh, Illidan is a late game character. No, that's true. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, we do have Jaina in the bottom lane. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, but Zul in the bottom lane might be a really big problem for what we're trying to do today. But hey, we'll find out. I'm not going to say we've lost anything yet, because we have not. Let's go ahead and add some more creep down here. I think they killed it instantly. Our tan is going in, so we're just going to try to lead up, or follow up, rather, with some auto attacks on this Jaina. More roaches right in front of the tower are going to soak up even more ammunition, and we're basically just trying to push into the tower with our roaches here. Roaches are not meant for dealing damage in this situation. Roaches are simply meant for taking ammunition out of these towers, and then we'll deal damage with our other abilities, like with just our auto attacks, with our hydralisks, or with uh, our banelings. So the roaches, only intention, again, is to constantly have pressure here on these towers. That's the play style we're going for here. We're going to be putting several talents into these roaches to try to make them more effective at doing just that. At level four, we are going to go for the infest talent, which is basically promote. If you've never seen promote before, it's, uh, well, they've changed a lot over the years, but essentially what it's going to do is we're going to take these minions in the back and we're going to give them steroids. They're going to do 400% more damage to anything that they decide to deal damage to. And the idea is that these bad boys are going to push down some structures in a serious way. Most people don't even notice the red glow around these characters, which means they just do even more damage than you would ever expect. Now again, Zul and Sylvanas can completely fucking counter this strategy that I'm trying to do, which is a bit of an issue. Also, one thing I haven't been doing enough is laying down my creep, and I also haven't told you any of my abilities, and I'm sorry. So our Q ability, Baneling Barrage, straight line skill shot, it's going to send out four roly polies that are going to roll into stuff. If they make contact, they explode and deal AOE damage. Our W ability is Hunter Killer. We're going to put this on a target. It will continuously deal damage to that target over the course of its duration. And it's really, really good for pushing people back. They're a little bit too close to you and you don't like it. And then our E ability is called Roach Drop or Infested Drop. And it spawns in these roaches from the heavens that um, we have spec for to reduce the amount of damage that they take from non 
heroic targets, so things like uh, buildings, things like mercenaries, things like minions, and uh, we're going to be spawning these constantly in front of enemy structures so that the structures are always out of ammunition and we can have an easier job of pushing in. Again, that's the plan. We are now going to make it so that the uh, infested drop spawns three roachlings instead of just two. Normally a talent that you would never pick under any circumstances. We are picking it so we have more roaches to siege and drain ammunition out of the buildings. Very specialized build that we are going for here. Will not work in every situation. Probably won't work in this situation because of the enemy team's team comp. But hey, we're trying. We're doing stuff. I'm going to throw some roaches down in the middle of the lane just because I thought there was probably a hook coming my way, but it looks like there wasn't. And then our trait is uh, a creep tumor. What it does is it puts down this gooey shit on the ground and allows us to, uh, it grants us vision uh, of the area. So it allows us to kind of see through bushes and stuff. Uh, gives me vision of everything going on around me as long as I use it properly and is usually a pretty good way of uh, keeping yourself safe when you're in the lane. I haven't been using it enough at all. We're gonna go ahead and throw some more banelings down back here, or excuse me, more roaches down back here. Again, draining the ammunition of the structure and allowing our minion wave to push in very, very, very easily. We need to put some more creep down. There's been constant pressure down in the bottom lane this whole fucking match. What's going on here? I mean, I know Zagara is one of the best laners in the whole game. I understand that, but shit, give me a break. You don't need this much pressure on me. You don't need this much fucking pressure on me. I'm very much aware that I have not used the, what is this even called? I'm very much aware I have not used Infest yet. Can we promote these guys? I don't think so. <gasps> no, I can't, okay. I was gonna say, that's gonna be fucking strong if I can infest the, the mercenary camp. We're gonna take down Sylvanas really quickly and just move it for some auto attacks on the Stitches. Stitches moving away very fast, is gonna be able to take down our Vala, but we're gonna be able to take down him with just some auto attacks and the help of our Illidan. Now we're pushing in even deeper. We're gonna call in the Roaches to help us siege this down. And now you guessed it. We're going for the Nidus Worm, boys. We're going for the motherfucking Nidus Worm, boys. Nidus Worm allows us to travel around the map with this thing that we put we put down. So here's a Nidus. This is what it looks like. We put that entrance there, and then we put another entrance uh, here. And then I can teleport between these two things very, very quickly. We can hold two charges at a time, and it allows me to be all over the map and allows me to siege very, very effectively. Again, this strategy kind of gets shut down by Sylvanas and Zul, but hopefully we'll be able to outmaneuver them across the map to make this more successful. Spawning in the roaches again to drain ammunition, ammunition even, out of this fort, so hopefully we can siege it. We got a lot of minions here, so I'm gonna go ahead and start to promote them, start to increase their damage output. Great kill, pick up from our Vala, doing a great job. More roaches, more banelings, more everything, and we are gonna take the fort just like that, boys. Just like that, boys. Now I'm gonna go back to the base. Yeah, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. We're gonna use the Nidus Worm to do that. We'll just hop right in and come out down here. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Probably not the best placement for this thing if we're just being totally honest, but we're not gonna dwell on that right now. I went outside earlier today. I don't know, I didn't do cocaine or anything. In the last video, I was rubbing my nose the whole fucking time and I was like, someone's gonna pick up on this and they're gonna think I'm doing drugs. No, I just walked outside today and my allergies are killing me. So I've been rubbing my nose non-stop. I'm surprised I don't look like Rudolph over here. This shit should be red as a motherfucker. All right, the friendly team does seem to be dying a little bit. Ain't no thing. We're going to move up to the top lane. We're going to promote one of these minions, and we're going to start to push this because we do not want these minions in range of our tower draining that ammunition. We're going to put the hunter killer on. I thought it was on Zul, but I guess it wasn't. Let's go ahead and promote another one of these caster minions. Now, promote is a temporary buff. I believe it only lasts for 30 seconds, but it's a very substantial damage increase. So casting this a lot is going to increase our pushing our pushing power quite substantially. But keep in mind, this pushing power is not represented by our siege damage. We do not get credit for any of the siege damage that these promoted minions will be doing, none whatsoever. We are gonna go for Mutalisk at level 13. This is going to turn our Hunter Killer into a ranged unit that can scale over walls and chase enemies down 
but probably a uh, better use for it with this build is just the fact that it will do cleave damage. It'll hit multiple enemies now, so we can send the Mutalisk in on a minion wave and cause it to uh, actually help us cleave the minion wave down. Promote going out on another minion there. I think I want to get out of here. We're going to go ahead and spawn that Nidus Worm, and then we'll get into the Nidus here and exit the Nidus here. Look at that. We're going to be totally fine. Now, actually, we could heal in that Nidus, but it's in this circumstance where I already have a Nidus at the base, it's probably faster to just go back here. We are going to use our Nidus again up top to rejoin our Medivh. We'll just hop in here, hop out here, and start to push again with the promotion on that guy. Beautiful. Let's go. Let's move. Let's move. The enemy team has congregated all down in the bottom lane. And they're going to be pushing pretty hard, but we already have a structure advantage on them. So that makes me want to push even harder. Zul still adamant about staying up here in the top lane. Yeah, walk into these bane, these baby. Shit. I can't get away. <laughs> I can't get away from that tracer. She kind of caught me off guard. I thought she was bottom. Now everyone on the enemy team is top, so we could easily take over this shrine down here. That Nidus is safe. We should probably put a Nidus down in the bottom lane. But as you can see, this is a great example of a build that can do a ton of pushing without that being represented in any way on the stat screen. Uh, kind of similar to the build for Abathur that grants AoE shields. I just hit my mic, sorry. That grants AoE shields to all of the minions in the area. That build can do phenomenal amounts of siege damage because it's just making a gigantic wave of minions that are constantly pushing and there's really no way for you know the game doesn't ca oh shit that's not what I want to, I want to go out here the game doesn't really calculate that in any way because you're not actively there hitting anything but you're keeping the minions alive and grouping up like 800 minions at a time you better believe that's a shit ton of siege damage just putting that out there all right, so instead of like being delicate with this, let's just walk up with these roaches. That's why we picked them up anyway. We're gonna put the roaches right in the middle of all of this and they're gonna start to drain ammunition. And when those roaches die, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna replace them with more roaches that are gonna continue to do the same thing until this fucking building is dead. There's a lot of team fighting going on in the map right now and we are not part of any of it. So we need to make sure that we're getting more value out of this push because it's more important because we're, we're dedicating our time to this. As you can see, we're not really taking too much damage. The minion wave's here. Oh no, there's a Sylvanas. Now again, Sylvanas can kind of put an end to this strategy because when she attacks, she nullifies all, all minions. She makes them stand still, which is really fucking irritating and I hate her for it. But we can at least put some auto attack damage in here. We can spawn a couple Hydralisks in here. And then when it's looking like we need to leave... Actually, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> I could not have channeled into that Nidus Worm in time. Again, I haven't actually practiced this build. If I had more practice with it, I could have put the Nidus down sooner, hopped in that thing, healed to full health like it wasn't no thing. Meanwhile, the Dragon Knight did manage to push in past the defenses in the middle lane, but not too much happened on top of that. Uh, we weren't able to get a keep. I believe, are we... I believe the keep here was already dead, so we weren't able... Oh my god, I had it backwards twice. This is a fort, it's tier one. This is a keep, it's tier two. I believe the fort was already dead, and we just kind of walked in here and died. That was the impression that I got anyway. The night is still up, so we could just teleport right back up to that lane and continue what we were doing. We also have a, a little bit safer of a night over there. Now, we can only have three of these down at a time, so it's actually really lucky that the enemy team has not moved in here to kill these. Very lucky. There's a team fight going on. It looks like Jane is going to die. So I'm just going to go ahead, spawn my roaches up here because, again, I'm ignoring this team fight and it's really important that I get this building because I am ignoring it. Once again, we're being interrupted. Fuck me! No! Oh, shit. I got the building. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here let me, let me paint you a picture because I realized that I've just died several times going after this one building. In order for this to be super successful, here's what I need to happen. I need my team to distract the enemy team, which they've been doing a pretty good job of. There was a team fight middle. That's why I went top to push in here. I died. Should have avoided that. But what I really need to have happen is just get one of these fucking keeps dead. When one of these keep, when one of the keeps go down... Obviously, we're going to spawn catapults 
in this area. I can then Nidus over to the catapults when they're in the enemy team's base and buff them with Infest, increasing the damage of the catapults by fucking four billion goddamn percent. I don't know how. Okay, so right now is a great example. I just need vision of something. And it's my fault for not having vision of something. Motherfucker. Oh, can I have four Nidus? Two charges, four Nidus? Oh, they buffed Nidus. It heals you inside the Nidus worm now, and you can have more than fucking one. Or more than three. That's one more. You can have four. It's one more than three. I swear to God, I don't want to talk. Okay, we'll get rid of this. They're pushing bottom. That's great. Uh, I'll just go get Top Shrine real quick. I need to be putting creep down more often. Not only can I not talk today, apparently I don't have any cognitive thought or ability to plan out anything. Let's go ahead and throw some roaches down in the minion wave so when the next wave pushes up, they're going to have to deal with the roaches. Yeah. That delayed him by like three fucking whole seconds. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? Looks like Vala is going to be able to get the Dragon Knight in the middle, and I'm going to push in up top really, really aggressively. And I mean really aggressively. So here we go. The Nidus is down. I have that to teleport back to. Now we need to see we need to siege the shit out of this. That's what the roaches are for. The roaches are here to soak up all this damage. I know I don't have a minion wave with me, and in a perfect world, I won't even need the minion wave. Here we go. Another spawn of roaches. And we're just attacking. We'll send in the Oh shit! Oh shit! No, please! I think we're good. I think we're, we're good. We're good, boys. We're good. And then we'll just pop out back here. Yeah! So that actually drew two members of the enemy team away from that Dragon Knight, which is awesome. Which is awesome. I think I'm going to go with Bolt of the Storm here just because I keep dying because I'm overextended. And that should help me not die because I'm overextended. We'll just go ahead and put another Nidus Worm down and move back in up top. And we'll keep pushing with this damn thing. Oh shit, I did it wrong again. And my whole team's dead, so this is probably a bad idea. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pop up here. We're gonna throw down all of our stuff, and then we're gonna leave. Oh, I, I would just kill Tracer. Yeah, I mean, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Uh, we can get enough damage in here to take that down. Zul's chasing after me. Zul, don't do that. Zul, don't do that. You know you don't want that. Ah, ah, blink, go, go, get out. Okay, all right. See, we're totally fine. Now I can put another Nidus Worm down where I have vision, which is going to be right on top of our Illidan here, just in case he needs me. No, don't hit this! You go away! You go away! This is mine! Oh, shit. Didn't see that coming. Well, that was a good play. Thank you, Illidan! Goodbye! <laughs> Alright. Can we pop back out? Stop it! You stop it! Ah! 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 Illidan, he killed my thing! Illidan, help me! Oh, shit. Oh, shit, it got so real. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it got so real. <laughs> Seriously, I need a building to die so I can do the whole fucking strategy of what I'm trying to do here. Let's go push bottom. Fuck! Stop it! Stop killing my things! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boys. Oh, thank you. Oh, no th- Wow! Whoa! Did Get Stuffed do all of that? Dude, her Get- She did 3,000 burst damage! What? Tracer, why'd you do that to me? All right, now Zul and Sylvanas realize that they're fucking pushing characters and they're doing that now. If they continue to push bottom, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Also, it looks like Artanis is just taking a little mental break. And that, I mean, everybody needs that now, now and again. That's totally fine. The hunt coming out from Illidan again is going to hit that Sylvanas pretty fucking hard. The Leyline Seal from our Medivh is going to cut off their tank from re-engaging. And it looks like Artanis is going in deep. With Tracer just completely ignoring this down or over in the middle lane, this is actually a pretty good fight for our team. But it looks like the enemy team should have time to regroup by now. So this is what we're going to do. We know they're going to be fighting. God damn it, she's here again. Fuck it. I'm going. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm not afraid of her. I'm not fucking up. Did she kill it already? Okay. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> but with two members of the enemy team up in the top lane, 
Dealing with where my maw used to be, we should be able to move in here and get this fairly easily. Let's go ahead and just promote these guys since I still don't have any fucking catapults. Uh, looks like we are losing top right now. We should be able to take mercenary camps pretty easily with this build, or at least I would assume that we can. Uh, so while my team's doing whatever they're doing, let's move over here and we'll take a mercenary camp. The roaches should tank everything for us, and of course... Ah! Ah! And of course the roaches take reduced damage. I'm going to ping for a hunt. Maybe we'll get it. Maybe we won't. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it's time to go. Dodge the hook. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did I already get it? Already, boy, did you get it? Okay. Here's one Nidus. I'm just going to sit here for a second. I'm going to heal up. And then we're going to keep pushing the bottom lane because that makes the most sense. Get off my Nidus. Get off. I missed all of those bane things. Get off my shit! Stop it! I need it! I need- it's brand new! Fuck! Don't break it! Okay, okay, we're, do we're doing good. We're pushing in. Let's put creep down. <laughs> hey! We killed the fucking keep, boys! We did it! I can do my strategy now! Unfortunately, that keep is in the middle lane, and it's a lot more apparent to the enemy team. Like, they're gonna be looking at that. But that's okay. Uh, so we're moving in here pretty well. Illidan's over there tanking stuff. We're actually on the core right now, which is 100% the right thing to do. <laughs> but I'm not doing it because I'm bad at this game. Oh, yeah, I'm coming, boys. I'm... Can I promote a catapult, please? Please promote the... Yes, I did it. That's why we won this catapult right here. That's why we won the game. It was that catapult, boys. It was a motherfucking game. <laughs> uh, I don't feel like anything went right that game. <laughs> Can we talk about how high our XP contribution is as a team, though? Like, holy shit. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you could tell that was my first time trying that. Uh, it, I, <laughs> I don't know if I would recommend it. Corpse Feeders level one, Infest level four. The idea is you you make the catapults really strong <laughs> so they can kill the core like the one I promoted did. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> Ventral sacks, you spawn more roaches so they can tank stuff. That's... That's pretty good. Uh, Nidus Network, so you can be everywhere. Uh, specifically, so you can be where the whole team's trying to kill you, I guess. Mutalisk and Brood Expansion, followed by Bolt of the Storm, because I don't fucking <laughs> know where to stand. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Fuck me. <laughs>